Okay, I will just say this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Thibaut. I'm studying optics in Ski School, Korea. I'm coming from France. My hometown is in the middle of the forest in the north of France because my dad is working in the forest. I've been living there with my older brother, older sister and my little sister. <laughs> what I study in Kiss School is 3D display holography optics. My goal is to capture 3D objects, trying to process the image and then reconstruct it in 3D so that people can watch 3D images without glasses. I arrived in Korea in 2013. I started officially my PhD in September 2014. I graduated this summer, so now I'm officially I'm postdoc. Actually, my brother went to Japan to study for six months. We started to get interested in Asian culture, so we watched drama. I got introduced to the Korean culture in this way. Well, knowing that it's a cliche, of course, I mean, it's drama, it's not real life, but I had this idea that I want to see Asia. And after that, it's because of my major. When I talked with my professor about my future, he was telling me, if you want to study holography on 3D display, you should go to Japan, Korea, or US. I made inquiries to go to Japan or Korea. And the professor in Japan told me, you can come for a PhD, but we don't pay our PhD students. So you will have to work outside. It's like, uh-huh, I will see. <laughs> Fortunately, my French professor knew a professor, a Korean professor, introduced me and, and I arrived here. First, when I arrived in Korea, I wanted to visit Seoul because I wanted to see the different areas. The Namsan Tower, Hongdae, Gangnam, of course, around Kist. I went to see Jeju and Busan. My favorite spot is the palace. It gives um, some feeling of peace that I really like, so I went there quite often. Living in Korea is very different than what I could have expected. First, I'm coming from a countryside, so arriving in a big city is definitely different. First thing I think when I hung out in Seoul is that everything is very clean. That's very strange because there is no trash bin. While in France you have some everywhere. Somehow maybe in France we don't know how to use it, but in Korea there is nothing in the street. The phone. If you don't have your phone, you are lost. It took me some time to get used to install everything I need to get into the system. If you are not into the system, it's very difficult to apply for anything. But once you have a, yeah, your visa and your, your phone number, suddenly things getting, are getting much better. I don't think I could expect to meet my wife here. I was so living with two other French guys and one of them was waiter in a French restaurant and she was also working there. So they met there, they were friends. So we met at a party and something like that. In the end, my French friend left Korea so we didn't talk for some time, but somehow we started getting in touch and we started dating. So we got married this July. <laughs> Studying at Kiss School is good for the research part. I really liked it. During my study, I had no problem of funding. For the financial support, Kiss School gives some stipend for master's degree and PhD students. In addition of that, they also support the tuition fee of the university. The dormitory is very cheap. Dinner is free in the cafeteria. That's for every KIST member. Usually it's my wife who wakes me up because she starts earlier than me. I'm leaving here by 9. I walk to subway and I commute and I arrive before 10 at club. So this is my office and we have different students here. My specific task is to, well, of course, it's to write and read paper, but 
I use the computer to compute 3D images and then I go to the experimental room to see if the image I compute are like I want. During the afternoon, I try to find some time for studying Korean. Actually, when I arrived in Korea, I studied Korean a lot. At KIST, when we start the first semester, we have Korean class every day. I lost my motivation at some point and I had no time because of the study. But now I really try to find the time to do it. Then it's really depending on the work when I leave. Probably every foreigner feel lonely at some point. I think I really felt lonely when my first friend started to graduate and leave. Like, okay, goodbye. <laughs> when is my turn? <laughs> when I feel lonely or homesick, I spend time with my friends, my family. I mean, my family, like I call them or I write them. I'm also writing a blog with the idea that my grandparents specifically, they don't have Facebook or anything. Uh, now I'm late of my blog, maybe one year. <laughs> I don't really want to stay in Korea for a long term because I think I would have difficulties with the working style and not enough holiday, for example. <laughs> Here, I'm the foreigner in France. My wife is a foreigner, so my plan is to go to Canada. It's in the middle. They speak both English and French. School prepared me for the next step. I could write many papers and I had the chance also to go to many conferences. When I graduated, I got some contact through LinkedIn or some professional website for opportunities. Actually, I was planning to stay here a year, not looking for anything. And in the end, the uh, things I am moving faster than I thought because people are asking me, <laughs> you want to come to our company? It's like, oh, we will see. <laughs> What I feel excited for the future is challenge, I think, since I plan to move to Canada, it's another big jump. I will be with my wife and we will both see how we can build our life there. We will see how it's going.